So, hi, hi, I didn't see you there. Oh goodness, hello, hello. Welcome back to City Skyline. So we are here today. And uh, last time I left off, I wasn't quite sure what to do next. Well, I thought about it. I thought about it real hard. And I think I've got some ideas going for us. So our next milestone is only in like 524 people. That's it, that's what we got. So first things first, I wanna get that 500 number. I wanna get those people in this city, but we need to plan for the milestone because there are some interesting things coming up here. Immediately, we have a campus area. That's huge. We can get a campus started, which will educate our citizens and get people into this area. We've got different specializations for commercial, which means that we can get more tourists coming in to the cities, a bunch of new policies, and this is the spot that I was so excited for, the new zones. That's our goal today is to plop down some of these and get moving with this office zone, talk about some of this high residential, high density commercial, because this is where this is where city skylines becomes, well, it becomes a city. All right. Let's do it, let's roll into it, and uh, here we go. Okay, so we got it. We are watching this area rise up and people are moving into this area. I tried to create something that's just like a branch off of kind of the, um, the main path that we had going here. My goal here was to not treat this road that goes all the way around as a main road. I really wanted to try and create as less traffic problems as possible and um, make sure that people are using the larger road next to it so i tried to minimize the amount of connections that were here and just try to lighten the load of this area i'm noticing that i'm also running into some issues as well i've got this this border right here and i was thinking about it last time i was like if i got you know one one two and three and four that would be a good square footage for the city um because i am starting to push this border a little bit here I'm also starting, I talked about my, the downtown area, which I'm gonna start today, which is down here. And if I wanted to expand anywhere else, I'm starting to get squished. So let's just see, as we are watching this number rise up right here, we're almost at the 7,500 mark, how much these areas are. So I have $288,000, $4,000. Yeah, let's easily do that one. Next one, let's see, can I get another one? Oh no, I can't do another one because I don't have enough. Oh no, darn it. Oh well, well that's the one that I definitely wanted. So uh, that one will be easy to get. I do have the mod. I think it's like all 38 tiles or however many there are here purchase purchasable. So in the future, we definitely will be getting there um, once I hit that limit. So, um, okay let's let's just explore this area now we've got another avenue here i also took a peek in some of the water treatment stuff and i i'm so i'm new to the harbor whatever it's called or the eco one i bought those two specifically for this series so i'm not as familiar with them as i should be frankly uh so i'm uh, i'm kind of excited to see if there's any sort of like you know any sort of um Areas where I can sort of keep the water from getting too polluted. I don't want to have polluted water because as I think I talked in my last one, it's a very long time for that water pollution to dissipate. So I might, I might download a mod in the future depending on how things go and where things are that kind of removes some of that water pollution. I think that might be cheating, but I mean, you know, I'm used to playing on the sandbox, so that's a thing. That's a thing. All right, let's figure out what we got next. So we've got the people coming in. There are some some more people. We do have more residential demand, so let's try to get that number up here. Um, mm, 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 I think we're going to fill this area in and actually treat this area right here as more of a forest industry. Big 
town. All right, we finally got it. Oh, thank goodness. This is this is the one that we have been waiting for. All right, it is time. It is time. It is time. So let's explore what we've got going on here, because I this is very exciting. This is the thing that I've been anxiously waiting for, because this area right here needs just needs to go. We need to replace every single one of these areas with office buildings because I don't want this area to be polluted. I don't mind too much of this area is, but this one we most definitely need more office and I'm just going to get rid of this guy Oops. and put this guy right here. Actually, we might run I wonder if we could run the highway through here as well. That's an interesting thought. If we ran the highway down right here, that would mean we'd have an entrance right here. Uh, we could have an entrance right here and an entrance right here. That could be a excellent, excellent use of the highway system. Okay, so for now, we are just gonna keep it as uh as low density because i this area is not set up for high traffic like the um the roads here are yeah they're big but they're you gotta travel a long way to get there um there's no real like interchanges or roundabouts it's like here's a four-way for example that could cause congestion so i definitely want to try and keep some of this area free from Free from, uh, what do you call it, uh, traffic congestion. Okay. And I like what this is going right here. This is just, I'm going to plop these down here. I want to kind of extend it a little bit more into this office zone area. I don't want to be too, like, one, you know, one collective sort of thing here. Okay, look at this, this little fire station. looks dwarfed with this big building here. Oh, it feels so good to have all these these office buildings coming in. And we're going to get to see our pollution drop as well. All right, so the other thing here is we've also got another option for, I believe, our land. So um, I'm going to suggest maybe getting this one here because I know I'm having some difficulties here and I know I'm going to have to expand that way. So I'm going to go this one. $8,900. Do I have another one? Nope. But these two squares are the ones that I'm going to get next, unless I really start budding up here. But, you know, time will tell. Time will tell. So we've got an office park here, which is wonderful. I, I dig in that highway idea here. But let's go into our metro area. Do we have that train unlocked yet? I don't think so. No, we have a metro unlocked, though. I've also been thinking about the... I've also been thinking about the public transit because um we have a ton of walkers as i've been like just kind of you know going around and looking at what what's happening there are a ton of people who are walking around so we do have a metro now i just i want to get that train in there all right let's see the project that i was thinking about doing when we've got here and that is the start start of downtown. Okay, so when I when I built this, this when I when I hastily built this what do you call it disaster response unit, I um I I, I had to kind of like terraform this area, and I didn't mention it yet, but like it immediately gave me this really cool idea to have the city sort of like sit upon the cliffside here, and so I built that the only real mod that i like have is a terraforming mod um it's like unlimited soil or something like that 
I just don't like how they limit you with the soil and stuff like that. So, you know, I, that's the only real thing that I actually have with this, with this city that I have total control over. And I decided to build a cliffside with it. And this is a little cliffside that I made. So think about nice, big, big buildings sitting along this cliffside. And uh, we're gonna start building this grid system here. We are gonna go with a grid system. I have been thinking about this highway and I think it might be a good idea to first extend this highway out into this area first to get this nice area going. And then, and then start building the grid system though. Because the thing here is that I don't wanna have like the, the area being built upon with um with like an unfinished like connection system because downtown it's all high residential it's all high demand it's going to require a lot of access points to it so people can move through and without you know traffic jams especially if you're building a grid system like i am so i think let's move the highway first Well, this, uh, this project took a little bit longer than I had anticipated. So I, um, I finished my coffee. Uh, yeah, well, I'm still not done with it. I've got, I've got some more work to do on it. Like I'm, I was just following kind of where these en entrances and exit, ex entrances and exits go. <laughs> Couldn't get that one out. And uh, there's one here going this way. There's one here. This one, I feel like it's a little close, but my thought process was like, if they needed to get to this road, then they wouldn't have to come into the section and around it, or even like through the little roundabout. So they'll probably get rid of it, but I'm gonna leave it and you know, we'll make that judgment call later once traffic starts to creep up into this area a little bit more. Going along this road now, we come down to about the mid section where there's one exit here. And then you have one entrance here as well, coming from this section. This area is not a four-way. Uh, this right here is a one-way, so the only way to get into this exit is to come down this road, which means that there's one one-way coming this way and one one-way coming out the other way. Then you can get up here, and I focus really sharp on that to try to make that as easy and nice as possible. And then finally, where I'm at right now is just the exit and entrance here. I don't quite know how to end this area just yet. I was thinking about maybe just kind of looping one around and then the same one kind of going the other way to kind of create like a four-way intersection right here. But uh, I think, I don't know. I mean, I don't know if it'll work out. I don't, I, I don't know how freeways end. So I hope this works, but I'm afraid that if I do that, then it's going to cause a massive, massive traffic congestion here. I wonder if I could bring one right here and one right here. That could be kind of cool. Like, then, I mean, then there's a huge four way, at least here. A bunch of people getting off, a bunch of people getting on. I don't know. I don't know. Tell me what you think about this section. I'm going to do something with it. I'm just going to kind of throw something down, but if you have a better idea on how to end this section, this little freeway here, I would love, love to hear it. So the road's names are, if you, if you are, if you do have an idea, is Reed Street. Then there is, again, Reed Street. So we'll call Reed Street Large, Reed Street Small, and Hamilton Street. So Reed Street Small is this one right here. Reed Street Large is this one right here. Hamilton here. And then we have, we'll call Sophie and uh, Amity? Amity? Sophie and Amity. So tell me what goes where, what connects to what. I don't know how to make this happen, but it's looking pretty good. I mean, check this out. Pretty great. I'm 
think he's loving it. I really like the way it came out. I wasn't sure going into this, but I'm hoping that the traffic congestion going into this area here will be so, so much less. Also, do you have an idea of how to make this nicer? Well, I don't know what to do with that. God, my mind is just like running with ideas. You can throw this bridge like anywhere. I'm just like rattling and saying like I could go down even further to the south and wrap it up around, like connect like a loop almost like with the uh, with the other one up here on the north side. Like, you know, I, I mentioned early that I wanted to take this highway and bring that out here to connect it to this um, farming zone here. But I'm realizing that, like, I could just loop this entire highway all the, all the way around. That's a huge project. A huge project for another day. But, uh, yeah, look at this. Ooh. Ah. I'm going to add just a couple more little interchanges um, just on to those sides. And if you are enjoying this video, please click the subscribe button. Next episode is going to be a huge, huge undertaking. Uh, we are laying the grid for the downtown sector. All right, that is all I got for you. And uh, let's wrap up these little interchanges. It's looking so good. Meteorologists have oh, issued a severe shit. tornado warning for the area. <laughs> Residents should seek shelter immediately if any is available. And with that, and with that, we end the game. We end the game with a damn tornado coming out. We're doing so good. Watch, it's gonna take away my bridge and everything's gonna go, gonna go horribly wrong. Ah! Well, hopefully the tornado's not too bad. We need to get some disaster. Uh, situation uh disaster relief stuff going on oh my god oh well at least i don't have this massive downtown section yet for them to destroy <laughs> all right that's all i got thanks so much for watching please click the subscribe button and uh, the like button as well helps me out quite a bit and uh i asked you for some help with some of the freeways so i'd love 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 for your input on those and um, that is all I got. That is all I got today. Next episode is going to be a doozy. <laughs> I've got a tornado coming. Oh, God. Wish me luck. Take care. Goodbye.